Hi, I'm Kip Kuterbaugh. I'd like to introduce you to my sons. I'm Jason. And I'm Jane. Welcome to the Aviar Golf Academy. Here it is. I'm Kip Puterbaugh, founder of the Aviar Golf Academy in Carlsbad, California. I uh, would like to introduce you to the three-part series that we're going to post here on YouTube about how to get the club to swing and coordinate with the rotation of your body. So I want to discuss today is how to hit a pitch shot. And there's a drill that I've used for years, what I, what I call the turn, drop, turn. And by that, we're trying to learn how to co coordinate the rotation of the body with the dropping of the club. So the club is swinging in a circle. The definition of swing is something moving in a free and continuous motion around a center, so it's got to be swinging. So when we talk about the drop portion of this, it's us putting the club up in front of us where the shaft is perpendicular to the ground, my arms are right in front of my chest, the club's kind of connected right to my sternum. I just let the club drop and make a circle. This may look easy to you, but we have seen so many students that cannot do this. So the club has got to learn to swing, or we call the drop. From there, we connect that club again to our sternum and we take a turn. So we have a turn and a turn. So we're going to turn back, turn through, and what we're going to do is coordinate that turn to the drop. And if we can get the turn, the drop to match up, we can get the bottom of the club or the flange to hit the ground first. With the pitch shot, it has to be in the order of where you turn, the club is going to start to drop. We're not going to activate our lower body too aggressively because that would move the center of the club too far forward and I'd hit more with the leading edge and I won't get the club to the ground. So we want to take ourselves, turn, let the club drop, and coordinate it through to where we have the club right back to the middle of our body. So one of the feelings that I like to have people feel like as the club is dropping, you catch the drop with the turn of your body. So you don't want to go drop, flip, turn, so you want to just feel like you coordinate, turn, drop, turn. Okay, so we're going to move on with the turn, drop, turn that we use for the pitch shot, and we're going to how, see how that applies to the full swing. In the pitch shot, we are doing the turn and the coordination of the of drop to the turn. In the full swing, what we're going to find is that in order for us to get the proper full swing, we have to activate the body a little bit more. So what I like to do is go from the regular turning motion. I tell somebody to take the butt end of the club, and now when it goes, it has to get up past their left leg before they let it come back up. And if you'll notice, if I'm moving the butt end of the club forward, what do I do it with? I do it automatically with a turn of my body, so my rotation starts to get a little earlier into the downswing to move the butt end of the club forward. So if I put that into a full motion, I'll go back, and get it to go back up. And if you look at that in slow motion, which we're going to show you, you'll notice how well I delivered that club with my hands and the shaft reaching a very good impact position. So now we're moving into part three of the turn drop turn, and we're going to talk about how important it is to get a shallow approach angle into the ball. One of my favorite stories, I was watch, fortunate enough to watch Ben Hogan and Lee Chavino play together down in Houston. At the end of the round, a reporter came up with Ben Hogan and said, what did you think of that funny looking golf swing? And Hogan looked with Adam and said, that is no funny swing. He's got the longest flat spot of anybody I've seen play the tour since I retired. So for me, I had to try to figure out what does he mean by a long flat spot? Well, He's obviously trying to get the shaft, the face of the club, excuse me, to travel relatively level to the ground for a long period of time. That was extremely important in order to keep the face square through impact. The more your swing becomes V-shaped, the less time the face has to be square. So when we put into the turn, drop, turn into this, what we have to do now is as we're dropping the club, we have to get it to where it hits the ground. So I'm going to go here, drop, and I got to try to feel I get the club out here. So here, shallow, and back up. Here, shallow, back up. 
And if I do that, you'll see how well my body starts to work to get the club into the shallow position. My hips start to clear, all the angles of my body start to approach a good impact position with just thinking about dropping the club, swinging the club, and getting it into a shallow position and get it back up. It's a great way to learn the downswing. Mm -hmm.